Hey there, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Will Dupree. And I'm Amanda Dugan. This is your KXA and Live News Notes. We're going to catch up on the big stories of the day in less than five minutes. This weekend, we saw the rain move in at first. It all cleared out, and it was very hot and clear out there. And that weather is continuing today, Mandy. Yeah, it's going to be another hot day, and it's even going to be hot again tomorrow. So this will be a day to get outside if you want some sunshine. Today, we're also seeing another round of businesses reopening here in Texas, including gyms. We've talked a lot about it leading up to this day. It is. It's a big day for them. So gyms and exercise facilities will reopen. They're going to be opening at a 25% capacity. We're also going to see that companies will be allowing 25% of their workforce into the office. Non-essential manufacturing services will also be allowed to reopen. At those businesses, workers, they're still going to have to practice social distancing inside. So a lot of them have had to make accommodations to allow those workers to come back into the office or the building. And speaking on gyms again, you know, the locker rooms, shower facilities, those are all going to remain closed. Now, if you have a gym that you are anxious to get back into, we kind of recapped here um, the local ones that are going to be reopening. The YMCA of Williamson, Greater Williamson County, their facilities are among the local gyms that are back open. Now, YMCA of Austin locations, they're not going to reopen until June 1st. If you work out at a Planet Fitness, it's a popular chain here in the area and across the country. They are reopening here in Texas today. Staff members are going to clean all the equipment and everyone is encouraged to wipe down everything and wash their hands before and after they use it. Another popular spot, Orange Theory. They're actually not going to be opening back up today, but they will open on Friday with limited contact. They're going to take your temperature when you walk in the door, and they're going to have reduced class sizes as well. And they say, hey, if you're going to come here, face masks are recommended. Not required, but they are recommended. Yeah, and some 24-hour fitness locations in Texas are reopening as well, but none of them are here in the Austin area. That chain will start with five of its gyms, up in North Texas first before moving elsewhere. Uh, big afternoon here. At 2 o'clock, Governor Greg Abbott is going to be announced, announcing what the next steps are for kickstarting the Texas economy. And it could be a green light for some businesses that are still waiting to find out when to reopen, including these listed now on your screen. Those include bars, tattoo studios, bowling alleys, water parks. That one is one, of mm -hmm. course, that a lot of people are wondering as the temperature keeps getting hotter when they might be able to reopen next. Yeah, again, that comes at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I know we'll cover it on CakeSan, CakeSan.com, and Will, you'll even see it here on CakeSan Live. Sure will. We're also tracking local numbers for COVID-19 cases, and one county now has its first confirmed case. That's right, San Saba County. Hmm. Uh, they confirmed their first case, as you mentioned, and it is the last county in the Cake Sand viewing area to see a case of COVID-19. Well, so far, as you can see all around our area, we have about 3,400 cases. Now, when it comes to that one person in San Saba County, officials say uh, it was an employee at a nursing home that tested positive. And now county officials say they'll begin testing all the employees and the residents there. Taking a look statewide, though, right now we're seeing nearly 48,000 cases of COVID-19 confirmed now in Texas, and at least 1,300 people have now unfortunately died from the virus. Even with the pandemic going on, we certainly have seen a lot of people step up to help their neighbor. One in particular is a gentleman named Andrew Baker. Will? <laughs> Take a look at this video. That's him there in the red bandana over on the right. And for the last 24 hours, he was walking around Lady Bird Lake to raise money for a particular charity here yeah. in our area. Central Texas Food Bank. This is really sweet of him. Here's the thing. Andrew lost his job. He's laid off during the pandemic. He said, hey, I got all this time on my hands. What can I do to help others? So yeah, he actually started his walk on Saturday at noon, and he estimates that he walked 40 miles in flip-flops. <laughs> he also says he raised more than $2,600 for the food bank, which is pretty incredible because that service has seen such demand for it uh, during this time. Definitely. So I, I, this is so sweet to see. He, we chatted with him and he said that, as you can see, he had some friends join him on the walk and they also brought him first aid kits, water, even some adult refreshments to, to get him <laughs> through that 24 hour walk. Good job, Andrew. And I'd imagine today he's resting. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here another time. I'm Will Dupree. And I'm Amanda Dugan. This was your Cake Saying Live News Notes.